take off in a hurry. uranium they stole, and they must have planned to fly it out of the country. It's only used for atomic projects, and the government controls all those here. It's a good thing you stopped them, or somebody might have sent that stuff back to us in an atomic bomb. Yes, but if they want uranium that badly, they'll try to steal some more. So you build up your air patrol service, guarding every plant that has uranium. Oh, that's an idea. Who else would have any besides Argosy Metal? Well, Dr. Bryant is experimenting with atomic projects. He must use uranium. You've done some work for him already. Hey, he should be a good prospect as a steady customer. Yeah, he should be. I'd better go over and see him right away. Good luck. Good morning, Dr. Bryant. Good morning. Well, it looks like you're working on a new type of plane. Well, I'm always experimenting with different models. You use uranium here, don't you? Why do you ask? Oh, I'm just trying to drum up a little business. The gang who tried to get away with the uranium from Argosy Metals last night might try you next. How about letting me patrol your plant? Well, I believe my regular plant guards are adequate to protect anything I have here now. But if I ever feel I need more help, I'll certainly call on you. Well, thanks. In the meantime, I'll be flying patrols over the other plants around here. And if I see any more suspicious looking planes, I'll let you know. I'll appreciate it. Bye. Bye. You heard what he said. Yes. He seems unduly curious about our work. Everybody else will be, too. We're on dangerous ground. Of course we are. You can't expect to bring Earth under the control of our supreme dictator on Mars without taking risks. I realize that. We'll never succeed unless we keep our preliminary operations secret. I agree with you. We need a safer place to work. And there is one, which our scouts from Mars once used as an outpost. And it is already partially equipped. It's in the crater of the Altamount volcano. But that volcano is still partially active. How do we get into the crater? Well, not by any earthly device, but this atomic semi-disc we are building. Crude as it is by Martian standards, could easily transport the additional supplies to set up a laboratory in the crater cave. If you could build the atomic units there, I could work safely here on the heavier construction. Exactly. So let's get this plane finished and away from here before the inquisitive Mr. Fowler sees it. Clean up everything here, then take the truck back and report to Brian. Right. You know, I've never flown one of these things before. Sit down. The controls are similar to those of conventional planes, except that there are also jets on the underside so that the plane can rise or descend vertically. The takeoff is also similar to conventional planes. We will taxi off for a while and then... Patrol office. Calling follow patrol office. Come in, Ken. Is Steve there, Helen? Yeah. Now listen carefully, Steve. I've just spotted an odd-looking semi-disc-shaped job that climbs straight up. It took off from the rocky canyon east of the test field. Drive out there and see what you can find. Right. Set your course for the volcano.
There's a plane coming this way. He's too close to us. We'd better drive him off. Let me have it. Some hideout. Yes, it is perfectly safe. What kind of a gimmick is this? This gimmick, as you call it, was left here by one of my countrymen. They are worn by all men from Mars. Mars? Yes, Mars. Now start unloading. Yes, sir. Calling Dr. Bryant. Calling Dr. Bryant. Come in, Motor. Did you arrive safely? Yes. Has Drake come back? Yes, he just phoned me from the garage. And I gave him another assignment. There's a shipment of uranium coming in on tonight's Coast Limited. By blowing up the train at Bayview Trestle, it should be easy to recover the uranium from the wreckage. Good. Let me know as soon as you get it. Yes, sir. I landed close to the highway and thumbed a ride in. What'd you find out? Not much. When I got out to the canyon, two men in a truck were just leaving. I trailed them to a garage in town. Are they using the garage for a hideout? No. That's just the place where they rent the truck. But one of them phoned somebody, and I heard part of his end of it. He repeated some order about the Bayview Bridge tonight. Said he'd be there in plenty of time. Those fellows are connected with the plane that shot me down, and I'd sure like to catch up with them. So I'm going out to the bridge. Stand by here. Right. Right. 